This is the Smartless 500 watt hour portable power station. Why would you name it Smartless though? What up folks, this is I from Ask I Solo, where I like to keep solar simple. Man, I feel rusty, but let's get right into it. I was sent this power station by this company to see if I wanted to do a video. They didn't even require me to do a video. They were just like, check it out. If you like it, make a video. And I like it. On paper, it's 500 watt hours, and I'm assuming a 500 watt hour inverter. I never really test those things, but I just take their word for it. The standout feature on this dip is that it has a 60 watt PD port in and out. I'm starting to kind of fall in love with 60 watt power delivery ports or rather bi-directional power delivery ports. 100 is better, but I'll take 60. This one is 500 watt hour. So if you have a 60 watt charger going into it, then you'll charge, it'll take some time basically. <laughs> it'll take a long time, but that's not my goal with these things. I have a bit of a system of power stations and this one fits in quite well. The 500 watt hour battery is lithium ion, which means this thing is really light and look at how small it is for 500 watt hours. That's one of the benefits of lithium ion. You can get more power in a smaller space. I mean, it could explode on you, but let, let's, let's not, let's not go there. Typical stuff. Flashlight, PD port, um, it has a quick charge and then it has four regular USB ports. It has two AC outlets, no pretend ground ports on this one. So if you need to use a grounded plug, most of these power stations don't have actual grounded plugs. They just have an empty hole there for the plug to fit. But this one doesn't even have that. So you will kind of be forced to use this with more simple electronics, not bigger, more I don't know if they're complex, but no ground plug or ground hole. Let's talk about this DC input. On their page, they recommend that you use a solar panel with 5521, but this is not a 5521 port. It's too small. Luckily, shout out to Agwe, I have this particular adapter that came with their solar panel, so I can charge this from solar. 60 watts is about the max that this thing is gonna get in. I don't like that for these power stations. I feel like 100 watts should be the core minimum. But I don't pretend to be a technical person to understand why they choose like 40 to 60 watts on these smaller portable power stations. I mean, this one is not smaller. It's 500 freaking watt hours. I mean, come on, man. And it doesn't charge any faster than 60 watts from solar, from the wall, or from the PD port. Did they even get, they did give me a, 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 a 12 volt cigarette lighter to charge it. 60 watts is the max you get. It does have 5521 ports on it. I don't know it. They say that the port is regulated. I haven't gotten the tools to be able to test that stuff yet, but I'm ordering something soon so I can do that. The specific watt hours is 515 watt hours, just to be exact about that. The voltage range on the DC input is maxed out at 3.25 amps. So whatever the voltage is, the actual real voltage <laughs> that you get off of your panel, which is usually about 16, 17, you times that times 3.42 amps, and then you'll get about 55, 58 watts or something like that if you do the math. Maybe a little lower, but this thing pulls in about that much power. The reason why I know that is because I have power stations that tell me the output because this one doesn't tell you the input. It just flashes, let me turn it on. It just, can you see that? It just flashes the number as it charges, which is kinda, that sucks, but it kind of reminds me of the Rock Pals. The Rock Pals doesn't have power input either, but it tells you how much power is coming out at the AC or any other receptacle on the device. So I kind of like that. I feel like right now it's less than $300, which is a good uh, price for something like this. You get 500 watts for almost 60 cents a watt hour. Um, I think that that's pretty nice. I like the device. I'm a fan of it. It fits into my system quite well. I love charging it from other power stations. Just to be specific, it does say that it is a 500 watt inverter with 1000 watts of peak energy. I'm starting to find that stuff less than useful because a lot of devices, they don't necessarily peak at that amount of power. They sit there for a little bit and then drop down. So it's not really quite a peak where it's like a spike. It's like a Oh, I may be up at 800 and then I may drop down to about two or 300. So I don't know how I feel about that. I just treat it as what it says. It's a 500 watt hour. It's a 500 watt <laughs> inverter 
and that's kind of where I, I, I keep it. On something like this, I don't typically use more than 300 watts. This does have a flashlight and not a lantern, which is okay. <laughs> people kind of rag on the SOS feature and stuff like that, but I think some of those people have never been in a disaster situation. <laughs> if you're in a disaster situation, I mean, this being able to run SOS for a long period of time may be the thing that gets you saved. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? <laughs> Another thing about the 500 watt hour capacity is I'm finding that to be a pretty good, like comfortable space to rest in which is why I use this thing so much because I could plug my laptop into it and not be worried that I run it for a couple hours and then that dip is at 50%. You know what I mean? My laptop uses about 30 watts. So 30 watts going into 500 is it's going, and that's per hour. I'm sure we all know that, but I just wanted to be clear. It won't eat away at this thing so quickly. And that's about anything that I power into it. Even a 65 watt laptop like my wife has, it, it'll power it for a good like nine, eight hours or something like that. So I find that having 500 watt hours of power to be a really good kind of like place to start. Now I understand if you guys need about 300 watts, 300 watts is about the lowest I would go because you can you can still sit comfortably with that. Think about that 300 watts, you're running a 30 watt laptop. You can typically run that thing for about 10 hours and that, that's if you're using DC because there's not as much loss on DC. AC is going to be a little bit less. So, But I have been using this like crazy. I'm still kind of putting it through its paces, but overall I am impressed with the device, especially for the price. I think that that 60 watt PD port is very reliable and useful that it goes out and in. The AC ports is a drawback. It has quite a few drawbacks, but it just depends on how it fits into your system, whether you feel like this is a addition to you or it's like, eh, I wouldn't make this my first power station per se, but that just depends on who you are. If you're the kind of person who doesn't have a whole lot of needs, you're trying to get your feet wet in solar power, then this one's kind of cool. 60 watts in, it's going to take a long time to charge from the sun, but I'm kind of, I think we have this infatuation with keeping things at 100%, which we shouldn't anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Whether you get the device full, you still got 60 watts, you know what I mean? It's like per hour, so I don't know if that matters. I'm kind of coming around on that, especially when you're not supposed to let devices stay charged above 80% for an extended period of time. They typically like to live between 40% and 80%. I'm not saying you should do that, but you just need to know. Just a quick note, if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, I would ask you to subscribe. Not necessarily for me. I mean, it does provide a vanity boost for me because that's what all subscribers is, is a vanity number. I mean, it unlocks some things, but anyway, I'm going to start doing some lives for subscribers only to help facilitate the giveaways that I'll do. I mean, I'm still working out the details, but I do think that that's what I'm, that's how I'm gonna kind of focus it. And I still need to test that. So make sure you subscribe. So I holla.